okay, so here's where we stand after a long night of negotiations and proposals and all this stuff. Um, as I mentioned, MLB owners submitted their formal official written offer, written proposal um, for the MLB Players Union, which they were looking at going over last night. And um, it looks like one of the final things that needs to be resolved in order to end this lockout is the international draft. The owners really want it. There are some people on the Players Association side who are still skeptical. And the owners have tied that to eliminating draft pick compensation for people with qualifying offers. So that's one of the last things that needs to be that needs to be haggled over. But um, you know, the deadline did go uh, come and go yesterday. It was extended to this afternoon to get this thing done. So there has not been an in- announcement of game cancellation yet. If the deadline doesn't um, you know be isn't met today and a deal isn't made, then I would expect an announcement of ga- oh, game cancellations. But it looks like they've gone they've come so far that um, you know, the, it's a more than likely scenario that they're going to end this lockout today or announce it today. So that's fantastic news. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss when this announcement happens and so that you know all the free agent moves and trades that happen afterward. I'm going to put out everything, okay? You're going to be in the loop. And the, the moment that this thing is announced, I'm going to put out a video so that you know. So make sure you hit the notification button too so you're aware of when the videos pop and come out. So, um, and it's also greatly helpful to the channel, much greatly appreciated. So with that, that's that's the thing right now. So the MLB is meeting with their, uh, they, the Players Association are meeting with their board members this morning, and then they're gonna submit their final, it sounds as if their final, final counter proposal, um, which I'm guessing has to do with the international draft and the last couple of things that need to be resolved. But the main meat and potatoes seems as uh, already agreed upon, which is fantastic. And again, then most of that legal paperwork has already been drafted so that once this deal comes to fruition, it can start the expedite the process afterward. Hopefully there will be no additional games canceled. And again, the plan is if a deal happens to resurrect the 162 game schedule and put the games, the additional games that were already canceled, which was like six to eight games at the first week at the back end of the schedule. So the season will be pushed back itself. They're not going to sandwich these six or eight games within the season already because then that's going to cut days off. It's going to, it's not that, that doesn't sound like that's going to be the, realistic option and I wouldn't do that either so it'll just be a later season November baseball again and whatnot so it is what it is so I would expect that to be a 162 game season I'd be really really surprised if it wasn't but any of the detail that comes in make sure you don't miss it I'm gonna be putting out I'll talk to you guys later